So with the move yesterday for Bitcoin, Bitcoin is now looking extremely bullish on the higher time frames, right? So the dips are for buying and in this video, I'm going to show you where I'm planning on buying. Let's go. Welcome to another Bitcoin update guys. This shot right here on the weekly is just uh, absolutely beautiful to watch honestly. We broke past this high time frame resistance area, this red box right here, confluent with the lower part of the RLC, the short RLC, 0 0.618, and just blew right past this trend line, and we're now hitting the middle of the RLC, and it's just looking absolutely beautiful. So before I show you guys where I want to be buying the dip, I want to first of all give a huge shout out and a big thank you to Prime XPT for helping me out and sponsoring me on this channel. Prime XPT is my main go-to exchange where I trade all my Forex trade and all my Bitcoin trades. So if you're interested in trading the Forex markets and the legacy markets, maybe you're a crypto trader who wants to expand your horizons and try different markets because, you know, the stuff that you're using in the crypto market, you can probably very well use in the Forex market. So definitely check out Prime XPT by using the link in the description below. And if you use that link, you can also use the promo code LIPS42BONUS to get a 50% increase on your first deposit. So a very good deal, definitely check it out. So like I said, like with this move right here, Bitcoin is now hot time frame bullish. And uh, why I think Bitcoin is now hot time frame bullish is that, you know, basically we closed the daily above this high time frame resistance area and the dips are now for buying i'm extremely bullish for on bitcoin for the long term right now being below this area i was you know bearish but as soon as we started trading above 10.5 or you know the 618 right here i started to become very bullish on bitcoin for the longer term so i'm going to be looking at buying the dip on this move so where i am i going to be buying well i'm going to show you in great detail what i'm looking at what levels i'm gonna buy and what percentage of of my holdings i'm going to put into bitcoin so the first thing you want to do when you have a move like this or the first thing i like to do when you have a move like this you want to put a fib on this right so you want to put a fib from the beginning of the move from the low and i would consider this to be the low before the up move so i'm going to be using that low i'm then going to draw my fib up to this high right here and that's going to look something like this right so the area that i'm most interested in when drawing fibs like this, it's the RLC. And if you want to know more about the RLC and how to trade the RLC, you can click the suggestion up in the, what is it? The upper right corner where my hand should be if my uh, screen weren't this small. <laughs> so uh, any of these fibs are of equal importance. It's all, all a matter of where is price going to bounce, right? But the RLC is definitely you know a little bit more interested right and i like the fact that the rlc comes in right on this trend line so i do really going to put a little extra weight on the rlc here because we have some nice confluence with this trend line and the rlc also the 702 is right in the middle right at the lower part of this red box resistance right here if you put the moving averages on the chart here you will notice that the 21 ema the 21 ema exponential moving average on the daily is coming in nicely right inside this rlc and it's slowly starting to move up towards the trend line and if this is the start of the local top right here and we are going to get a retrace the area that i'm most interested in buying is the rlc so that's going to be the area between the between let's say 10,000 and 9,550. So let's make a green box right there. We're gonna use this buy zone right here. And it's going to be 10,000 and 9,550, just like that. This is going to be the area that I'm looking to buy the dip, right? So the dips are for buying because Bitcoin is now high time frame bullish and this is the area that you should be looking to buy. 
And by the way, if you're new to my channel, welcome and uh, this is where you're gonna get a glimpse into the reality of my trading life. This is where I share all my analysis on all the pairs I'm trading. I'm trading mostly crypto. I'm very heavily focused on all coins, but I also trade the legacy markets like gold, silver, forex, whatever, right? So if you're interested in getting a glimpse into a trader's life, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. That would help me very much and I very much appreciate that. So welcome to my channel. Let's continue with the BTC analysis. So the ROC of this latest move is not the only interesting area, right? And like I said, uh, the, uh, the different levels in the Fibonacci retracement areas are of equal importance. It's all about where the bounce is going to happen, right? So there's a couple of ways, different ways you can play this. You can either play this from a long-term perspective where you're just going to average into your position. And I'm going to show you a good, you know, what, what, where like a good level to do that in case you're looking for a you know, long-term hold and you're looking for, maybe you're mostly in USDT now or whatever, and maybe you want to slowly enter Bitcoin. Where do you want to enter? Well, the area that I'm watching is this red box resistance. Exact prices is going to be 10.4 down to 9.5. So between 10.4 and 9.5 is great levels to layer some bids in case you want a long-term position on Bitcoin. The setup in my opinion, the setup, a good setup in my opinion would be this right here. You layer some bids inside this area with an average entry maybe around uh, 9.8 or something like that, right? Your stop loss is probably like you're, you're the profit taking on this one, I do really think that this move is going to take us to all time highs. So if we start a new weekly uptrend here, you can check the yesterday's video where I showed you guys a pretty nice uh, high time frame analysis of why I think this is the start of a new weekly uptrend and where wh why I think we might actually come to all time highs with this move. So this would be a trade that I would be looking at in case this is the move to all time highs, right? So the stop loss needs to be around 8.5, right? So the stop loss needs to be around this area, right? So 9.5, because if we trade down inside the daily range again and we break 9.5 to the, to the downside, this is probably going to be, you know, just a weak, you know, fake out on the weekly, right? And if you're really interested in this one, this trade right here the best confirmation you could use is a weekly close above we haven't really got the weekly close above just yet we got five five days left so if we haven't got the retest in five days that's going to be really perfect for this setup so this is what i would be looking for first take profit would be at a 3r around 14k and the second one up above around the all-time highs right so this is what i what i'm going to be looking at uh to enter the start of a new weekly trend. This is where I'm going to increase my BTC holdings for the long run, right? Now, I wanted to show you something else here, right? So, I mean, that level is all good, right? But you need to consider all prior resistance area, right? And I do think this actually makes perfect sense, right? So, uh, we're going to look at the last high pre-breakout, which is this one right here. Now this is also a very very interesting level for a uh, for a retest, a retrace down to this area for a buy, right? This is a very very interesting area for that. So I do anticipate a bounce here, and if we get that, this is going to be a beautiful beautiful buying opportunity. So these are the levels I'm looking at and you guys got some different alter alternatives. What I would recommend is use the daily time frame for confirmation because this move is quite possibly going to be huge and you're going to have time to enter. And this, if, if this is the start of a new weekly uptrend, you're going to have time to enter. So be patient, guys. So this is basically what I'm looking at. Let's add a fib right here to see if we can find any confluence with... Uh, this low to that high and yeah absolutely we have some confidence here right we have the 382 right in the middle of this support right here do we have any moving averages right here so the weekly probably not the daily yes yeah, so uh not on the daily the four hour well not nothing interesting in in, in the terms of moving averages and usually you you don't get that because this is move is so strong and and the moving average are lagging indicators so it's going to take a while for the in you know the moving averages to 
uh, catch up, right? But this is definitely a very interesting area too, right? So the area between 10.5 and 10,380. Uh, 10, all right, guys, so that's uh, that's my quick little update on Bitcoin for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that little bell, that notification button, so that you get notified whenever I post an update on, on Bitcoin, all coins, or whatever. I'm going to do a live stream tomorrow. Not sure about the time just yet. I'm going to announce it on Twitter. So if you're not following me on Twitter already, please consider doing that. You will get, you know... All the details and more detailed explanation on short on Twitter on a daily basis and yeah so join the live tomorrow I'm also going to do a live on Sunday but tomorrow is going to be a, a live where I take a look at the Bitcoin all coins and the Forex market all right guys take care and hope you are all having a wonderful Tuesday and I would like to wish you a great continuation of that Tuesday yeah, hopefully the uptrend for this Tuesday is going to continue in a positive manner or whatever. Man, that's stupid. Take care, guys. See you guys next time.